I essentially kept bothering the DP because I had so many different questions, but I was at the, you know, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole, I was a PA. So um, eventually I was just instructed to just ask one of the other PAs who was on set and leave him alone. <laughs> right, so your film crew list, who do you need? Well, you need your director, your DP, producer, line producer, production manager, gaffer, key grip, script supervisor, sound mixer, editor, production designer, production assistant, and craft services. Okay, all done, bye-bye now. Hey everybody, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks. And today I'm going to teach you who you need on your filmmaking team in order to make your film. Now this video is going to be all about breaking down the roles and responsibilities for the crucial people who you need on your film crew. Whether you're crewing up for a short film or a feature film, I wanted to provide a comprehensive list of crew members who you absolutely need on set in order for your film to be the best that it can be. Now I know you've got a great script because you've watched all of these videos. But in addition to your script, the quality of the filmmaking experience is also dictated primarily by the quality of your crew and how well they work together. Now we're going to get ready to film and I can guarantee you that this film crew list is going to help you out. So please help push this video in the YouTube algorithm by pressing that like button. And press it hard. And let's get started. So whether you're a newbie or a veteran, these are the people who you need on your team. Producer. Now this should be the first person who you hire. The producer is the head planner and coordinator for all stages of the film's production process. It's crucial that this individual has a clear picture on how he's going to assist you in executing your vision. So when you have a good producer on board, this person will typically have contacts who is ready to fill other crucial positions in your crew as well. This person is also partially responsible for helping to acquire the funds in order to get your film produced, hence producer. The producer is in charge of budget creation and scheduling the shoot. He makes sure that the director has all of the tools necessary at his disposal in order to get the job done right. So line producer, production manager. Now, unless you roll in in a dough, your line producer is most likely going to be a producer as well. So the production manager is in charge of managing the budget, which is provided by the producers, talent transportation, production drivers, SAG and extra paperwork, PAs, catering, and craft service personnel. The director. Now, the director is the boss on set. He's at the head of the ship when it comes to transforming a script into a finished film. The director essentially has the final say in every aspect of the film's creation. From set design, makeup, framing the shot, performances on screen, the edit, the music, the audio, the color temperatures, and the action. These all must be approved by the director. He is in charge of camera movement as well as the composition of the shots. So here's a quick tip for you. Even though the director is in charge of everything, it is up to everyone below the director in rank to essentially assist him and help make his job easier. And so when individuals have a question, you may want to go to the production manager or the DP or a PA on set instead of going straight to the director every time you have a question because that can get annoying pretty quickly, especially depending on who you are in the chain of command. I actually learned this the hard way on a shoot I essentially kept bothering the DP because I had so many different questions, but I was at the, you know, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole, I was a PA. So um, eventually I was just instructed to just ask one of the other PAs who was on set and leave him alone. <laughs> ah, the lessons you learn. So the DP or director of photography or cinematographer. So I'd say the DP is right underneath the director in terms of authority and he's primarily in charge of the camera department and the lighting crew. People like the gaffers, the key grips, and the electrical team members are all under the director of photography's team. So the DP works closely with the director in order to build and visualize all of the shots. So this will most likely be the man on camera on your indie film shoot. So the DP's amount of creativity and freedom when it comes to framing and color temperature and lighting is largely dictated by how much power the director is willing to give him. So it varies from set to set. 
So having a great DP can help make filming your movie feel like it's something out of a dream. And having a horrible DP will make filming somewhat of a living nightmare. You want a DP who will support the director's vision and help bring his vision into focus while not butting heads with as many crew members as possible. So you want a DP that can stretch a dollar and maximize the film's shooting budget and help the director plan out every single shot before it's even attempted. And you'll find that this will help the shooting day run much more smoothly and much more efficiently. Sound mixer, sound recordist, location sound engineer. So this person is responsible for recording all sound on set during the filmmaking or television production with their pro sound gear. Now the audio that this man records will strongly influence the quality of your final film. So please invest in the highest quality sound mixer possible. I guarantee you this is one of the best investments you could ever make for your film. If it's a higher budget short or indie feature, invest in a good sound department. A script supervisor is responsible for maintaining the film's internal continuity and ensures that the filming actually follows the script. He keeps detailed notes on all filming and records the project's progress, utilizing the tools that he or she has in his or her arsenal in order to keep track of everything done. So the notes and maintenance ensure that the final project has been fully shot and covered and that these shots can be successfully cut together. He documents each and every take. Now he takes note of which shots the director loved and which shots the director didn't because odds are the director's not gonna remember when the day's done. So editor, yes, we know this guy or gal edits your film. But an editor is someone who can help you refine your shot list before you even begin filming along with your DP. This process is gonna help you save time and money. You and him will discuss solutions in the event you do not grab each and every shot on the shot list. He gives you options to ensure that multiple shots on your shot list could serve dual purposes in terms of coverage so that something like this doesn't happen. Gaffer and key grip. The gaffer is the person who physically lights the film according to the DP specifications. The key grip, their grip, and the electrical team work closely with the gaffer and DP, running cables, setting up lights and dollies. These guys are all a part of the director of photography's crew. Production assistant. Each indie feature film or indie short requires at least one production assistant on set. So this person is in charge of, well, doing whatever he is asked to do. He will bring the cast and crew coffee, breakfast, you name it. As long as it's legal, the PA should be able to do it. They may be asked to go get talent to slate the shot, help white balance, ensure no one walks into frame. So yeah, the PAs do whatever is asked of them within reason. Craft services, AKA food. These are the individuals who bring the food. Rather you have a budget for craft service or not, you have got to figure out how you are going to get your cast and crew fed. Because the shoot does not go well when crew and cast members get hungry. And the production designer or art designer. He or she is in charge of making sure each shooting location is perfect, prepared, and matches the vision that the director has in mind. He also ensures that items placed within the scene are still there from shot to shot to ensure scene continuity. So if you're watching a movie and something in the background disappears, then most likely you need a production designer. So did you learn something? Please let me know in the comments below. I made a film called The Brotherhood. You can check it out on Amazon Prime. I also made a clover key. If you're a filmmaker, you need this product to unscrew the camera plate off of your camera. It's very essential. And it also acts as a uh, bottle opener in case you need to, you know, grab a cold one after set. It's always fun talking to you guys. Until next time, see ya.